let's go to Los Angeles where my old friend, author of Somewhere in L.A., there you go, Jose Arroyo joins us. He's an Emmy Award winning comedy writer, and he's written for everybody. Conan. Uh, we, uh, we, wrote, we wrote for Dennis together. Yes. And, yes, we uh, did. Yeah. Good so to see it, you, David. It's good to see you. Now, uh, we were talking, you were on the show Monday, and we were talking about a great comedy writer, Brian Rich. We didn't have time to look at some of your uh, cartoons that you oh. sold to The New Yorker. Well, you now, I, these are the ones that have not sold because um, I submit them every week. And of course, they get hundreds, if not thousands of submissions. And so uh, I'm just telling you why they haven't bought them they get thousands david you see <laughs> jose arroyo very talented brilliant comedy writer everybody should follow him on twitter I, oh, i'm uh, always jose stunned. arroyo writer on twitter yes. yeah i'm always stunned by how brilliant your stuff is and it just lays there on Twitter. I don't, I, I go, <laughs> wow. And it, it almost, you know, I'm a dog and I like, uh, like, I like to know my place in the pack. And so you are my, you're like comedically, you're an alpha. And I go, okay, I'll roll over and, you know, uh, be on my back. And then when I go to Twitter and see <laughs> you not getting my, you know, the high school I, is rejecting I have, you. <laughs> I, I have 7,000 loyal bots. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I say. So I have to admit, this always makes me very happy to, to see what the New Yorker rejected of yours. Okay, well, we can go. Uh, today, as you know, is Indigenous, Indigenous uh, People's Day. So I submitted two for their daily New Yorker. They have an online cartoon uh, that's more sort of topical than the stuff that they would put on the um, on the in the magazine. So today I had this one. It's just imagining explorers being a little more uh, a little more progressive, and he's just saying, "Indigenous peoples' lands ho." <laughs> It would have been nice. Yeah, hold that, that right? up again, please, just so I can see that. Just That's a man so... up on the crow's nest, and he's just being very careful about his language. Indigenous people's lands, ho, right there. If only we'd been that way. Why, why would they reject that? It's oh, so, I don't know. I, it's I, so much again, funnier than anything. Thousands I don't. Of it's anti-Semitism. Go ahead. <laughs> it could be. Um so here's another one in the same vein. Uh, again, explorers being a little more enlightened. And this is uh, this is the explorer kind of seeing the the natives, and he's wading back to the ship, and he's saying, "Sorry, we thought you were India. Goodbye." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I think of yeah, just one of Monty oh. Python's guys. Uh, sorry. So there you go. Those are the two sort of topical ones. And uh, here's ones they rejected. From well, hang on. I just want to, th I, I, before you, thank you. Thank you. Oh. This is, this is perfect for me, as you know, because it makes me laugh. They're sure. absolutely brilliant. It's very generous of you to do this on my little show, but most importantly, <laughs> you're being rejected <laughs> and it makes you feel superior. It doesn't make me feel, it, it's just oh, come on. Kinda, it, no, no, it doesn't make me feel superior. It just makes me feel like maybe the world makes sense. Oh, I see. I see. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure uh, if it makes sense, but I, if you had the need to feel superior, why do I have the need to feel inferior to you <laughs> by showing you these <laughs> failures? I feel like or, I'm the bottom of the bottom or something. <laughs> Um, so that's Lindsey like, Graham. Go oh, ahead. <laughs> point point uh, for you. Oh, not uh, really. No. So here's here's one. This is God. I think I published this one on Twitter. This is God looking, staring at the, staring at the earth, and in his thought bubble, he's watching, you know, the world from his throne, and he says, "Oh no, I've been staring at the moon this whole time." <laughs> I would explain 
<laughs> Why? Why were in the mess? Right. <laughs> watching the moon this whole time. <laughs> He's old. He's, He's like old. six billion. He's watching the moon. All right. So those are kind of a whimsical. And then here's one I thought was perfect for the New Yorker because it's it's two women talking at a cafe. And one of them is saying, I'm married, but I haven't given up hope. Which again is a play on that I'm single, but I haven't given up hope. No, that, that's not the that's not what it says. Oh, I'm married, but I still think the right man is out there. Sorry. Yeah. I'm married, but I still think the right man is out there. Actually, that's a better caption. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, that one, okay. Okay, uh, we'll keep going. Again, keep going. these are more thinking, well, what if this is what they might like? I don't know. Right. Here's one of a woman coming home, the guy sitting on the sofa, and she just says, my therapist wants to talk to your parents. <laughs> Again, we're thinking- Not a good light, sign. Right? We're Not a good sign. The New Yorker, it might be, you know, they like therapy jokes. They like uh -huh. urban stuff. Here's a- here's I one love of that, a guy. by the way. Uh, I could see that. I could see that on my mother's refrigerator. On your mother's refrigerator. I, I, I really think I, yeah. That one's like a. It's it's it would it's its own magnet on a refrigerator. Right? It's very very urbane and so on. Here's one that's more sort of on the nose. It's just a man putting into a hole that's the size of a manhole with his golf club, and he's saying, "All I know is I'm having a better time," <laughs> just because it's a bigger hole. It's Trump. I, 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 exactly, it's Trump. All right, here's one for you because uh, you're a dog lover. It's a bunch of dogs wearing VR glasses and they just sort of standing around staring. And the caption is, see, we're playing poker. <laughs> it's a take on the classic dogs playing poker, uh -huh. right? By they're Renoir. Doing it, they're doing it in the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> now that I really love. Thank like you. That should be, I mean, that's perfect for the New Yorker. It feel it felt that way before it got rejected. I right. really thought I, that was that was like greased. It was going to go in. It was going to um, it was going to win a cartoony award, whatever they have. I don't know, but uh, but I really I, I thought that one had a chance. Oh, thank you, Joe from Nor Joe in Norway is saying so good. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, they love you here. Let me <laughs> let me uh, let me dampen it down now. So this is one. <laughs> um, this is one of a real estate agent showing a couple a home that is covered in giant, giant playing cards. And the real estate agent is saying, wait till you see the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it it's up. A, I want to see. I it's love a that. It's a straight up pun. I don't, it's right? just a woman. We just got their little laptop or whatever. And the couple is walking through the house. And it's just giant playing cards on the walls. And she says, Wait till you see the deck. I love that. I okay, do. Because it's so punny that, you know. I, I thought you were going to go with, do you think, honey, living in Los Angeles, we should be living in a house of cards oh. because of the earthquakes. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I think with that footnote, it might have had a chance. But. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I apologize. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, so those are some of the many. More. More. Uh well, yeah. <laughs> here's, one of a, here's one of a meteor hurtling to the earth and it's oh. saying, wiping out the dinosaurs is what I was put on this earth to do. And See, that's me. genius. Oh, thanks. thanks. No, and really. Then, I want to get a close up on that. Hold that up again, please. It's the, it's, there you go. Wiping out the dinosaurs is what I was put on this earth. And I didn't do the, the actual continents because as anybody knows, the continents back then didn't look like the ones we have now. So, so I did a sort of Gaia kind of knockoff. I don't know. But now it's anyway. interesting. We have astronaut Rusty Schweikert on the show tonight oh, from DART. They, they, he's helping move asteroids out of harm's way. Oh, that's way. right. They shot, uh, yes, the uh, NASA recently Tried to divert the course of one or something. Yes, and, and yeah. Apollo 9 astronaut Rusty Schweikert will be here to talk about that. So he would love that cartoon. Fantastic. Go ahead. Wow. One more. I, okay. I could, I could sit all day. 
I can Thank sit you. all This day. is the one uh, that uh, got quite a few likes for me on <laughs> Twitter. Uh, you ran into the double digits. Um, it's, just a, it's a guy in front of a boardroom. He's, he's giving a, you know, he's a presentation and there's clearly a clown among the board members. And the clown is saying, can we see that as a pie chart? <laughs> Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love that. <laughs> now, what about, so you're putting these up on Twitter. Yes. Have you thought of doing a book? I, I could look at those forever. I, I doing a book? I, I, it, it, it's occurred to me. I don't know if I, you know, I have um, very self-conscious about my, my drawing and my art style. So oh, I, you're I, a I genius. You really are. I'm in all seriousness. I mean, uh, everybody, lo- I'm, I'm being serious. Everybody loves your cartoons. They do. They, they're, they, and they're, they're perfect. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed them. I'm glad you enjoyed them. So wow. onward tonight, tonight is the deadline to submit for this coming week. So I'm going to go back and do, I can't say the ones I'm, I'm drafting for this uh, for this next submission, but uh, but the writers, the cartoonists in LA are sort of a smaller subgroup, and we meet for dinner like once a month, and we catch up, and uh, it's really it's it's. I've Do you order the frog's legs? Do you order the frog's legs? Uh, Sam Gross created one of the classic ones from uh, the National Lamp- National Lampoon. I think it was the cover, um, and it was a restaurant and. It says we serve frogs legs and out of the kitchen a <laughs> frog on a cart without legs looking dolefully up at the diners or something I, it's you know what we should do as a segment chris kelly oh chris kelly i always say hilarious the, i say the two comedy writers who taught me how to write uh, are you and chris kelly i've said that over and over again just you both of you taught me how to think differently but you taught me how to delete unnecessary words, David. And uh, that's why my edit. podcast is nine hours. <laughs> so, but one of the, th- I would love to do this with Chris because his father is Sean Kelly. Yes. Which, car- great cartoonist. Yes. And ran the National Lampoon and brilliant writer. He just passed away. And Chris grew up hanging out at the National Lampoon. Uh, And he would, his father would give him the day off from school. I think Wednesdays was when the the cartoonists would stop by his dad's office to pitch the cartoons. That was the, that was the the ritual. Yes. The the cartoonists would go all over Manhattan and stop from one place to the other going down in terms of pay. So they would go Mm -hmm. the, the higher priced, the pieces that would pay you more, you would you would try to hit first, um, and then you would sort of work your way down to the cheaper or sleazier magazines. I don't know how much the National Lampoon paid, but uh, I remember Playboy had uh, because Hugh Hefner was a cartoonist himself, had a very generous pay, um, and so the New Yorker, of course, had pay and prestige. So it would it'd be I'd be very curious to hear what uh, it would be a had. fun episode to have you pitch the cartoons to, to would, Chris. I would love to see if Chris could come up with a caption for well, some he's, drawing I made. He's 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 an amazing comedy he's writer. Like, You've met him. Yeah. You know him. Yeah. So what's it like having dinner with these the the cartoonists? And where where else can you publish? Where else? Who else is out there? There's a, so, there's a there's a pl- there's a bunch of magazines that still accept um, th- that still accept cartoons. I guess I'm my my problem is. One, I might be a little bit elitist in saying, well, I want to give it to the New Yorker. That's worth spend, you know, spending my time. Uh, but I'm not officially a cartoonist. What I want to be, of course, is a, a, a screenwriter. I want to write, you know, comedy, half hour comedies, and I'm looking for work in that in that area. And this is sort of a sidelight. So I guess I worry about donating, you know, giving myself too much time to explore other markets. Really, because I yeah. think these are. If I could, if I, if I had your gift or, you know, I would just do that all day. I may be running from my gifts and just saying, well, I want to do this other thing, you know, because the COVID life with COVID. Oh yes. Yes. I, I, that you should be pitching that to, to a network. That's so fun. Everybody go look at life 
with COVID. Follow it, Jose. It would be in my, yes, in my, in my media folder. If you scroll down, you'll find, it was a, just a daily panel that I did uh, about having COVID and COVID was the size of a beach ball. This, this character, which was the spore would hang on to me and touch my face all the time and annoy me and just for the 10 days that I actually had COVID uh, in, in it, early it's, August. It is mind boggling that you're not even pitching that as, as a show. It's so fucking brilliant, Jose. It, <laughs> That's it, very, it, it, very thoughtful of you, thank you. It's tr- I wish it weren't true. <laughs> Believe me, I wish you were <laughs> a loser like me, but you know, it's everybody go follow, please. I'm I'm right about this. Thank go I, go watch go look at his stuff on Twitter, but like it. Don't retweet it. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't give them too much. No. No. Keep him hungry. Keep him hungry. <laughs> You're the best, uh, you. Jose Arroyo. Follow him on Twitter. Uh, and ama- you're amazing. And Thank everybody you for should. Me. Oh, I wish you were here every week. Uh, Thank you. And somewhere in LA, buy it on. Go to Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> okay, to shop on Amazon before you go. I, I did something. I just want you to see it. You're busy, you know, writing for the New Yorker, right? Yes. Uh, I'm doing this. Hang on. I, I worked on this. I said, Jose is going to be on the show uh, and I, I want to impress him. Where is it? Hang on. Um, ah, hang on. Your chat line says, have Jose's book here in Ireland. Well, thank you. That's awesome. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Here, here we go. Hang on. What's going on? Do we miss Trump gas? (laughs) 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 All right. There. I will add that to my New Yorker submissions. (laughs) Are you proud of me? Very proud. You've leveled up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, All right. Take care, th- everyone. Thank you. Uh, we have to go now to, uh, we, we have uh, a tight schedule here. Let us now go to London. 